It's the Burner, man, back with Burner Talks. And it's official, Paul George is out with the Clippers. And today we're going to be talking about where he went, was his contract worth it, and what this means for Paul George. Before we get started, it would be greatly appreciated if you guys hit that like button. Let's see if we can get to at least 10 likes before we get to 100 views on the video. Um, but let's go ahead and get into it. This is by Wash. Breaking. Free agent Paul George has agreed on a four-year, $212 million maximum contract with the Philadelphia 76ers. Sources tell ESPN George committed in a meeting with Sixers officials and returns east to join Joel Embiid and Tyrese Maxey in pursuit of an NBA title so let's go let's go ahead and dive into this first of all we need to take off that last sentence in pursuit of an nba title because if you were in pursuit of an nba title you wouldn't have been out here trying to seek a max deal because when you seek max deals like that it hurts a lot of teams um and if you're the 76ers right here i'm not mad at you doing it uh but you got to get your priority straight if, if it was me. First of all, Maxi is a restricted free agent, so you get first dibs on him, but you got to get that deal done first. At this point, I'm taking Maxi any day and twice on Sunday over Paul George. So you should have got that deal done first um, before you even address this. Um, and the thing is with this deal, they only have three now, they only have three people under contract when it comes to the 76ers. So they gotta really fill out their roster. And when you have already in beat, it's gonna be getting 55 plus a year. Now you're gonna be talking about Paul George getting 50, 55 plus a year. It really hurts your or trying to fill out your team. Like I've said a lot of times, man, like, yeah, you can get the big stars, but when it comes down to the playoffs, you're going to have to lean a little bit on your others. Your others are going to have to do their job and help out the stars. And with these contracts, like I said, you're probably going to have to pay Maxi close to max, if not max. Um, you're not going to really be able to fill out your roster, in my opinion. And with this, you're signing Paul George, somebody who's 34. I love Paul George. I love his game. Like I I've told y'all before, I love how smooth his game is, how he takes his time, all that. Um, great player, stand-up guy. But I think it's a reason that nobody was offering him max. Even the Clippers didn't want to offer him a max. Like, bro, we'll, we'll sign you. We'll give you a lot of money, but we're not going to give you a max, bro. Not, not at 34 years old. That's kind of insane. And, and I haven't even mentioned you're injury prone. We don't even know if you're going to even make it through the season and you want to get a max deal at 34. And if you're 34, how many good years do you still have in you? I think me personally, with the, with the way his game is, and he's 6'10 long, I think I think you can get most of that contract out of him. You might not be getting 20. I mean, he doesn't really score 25 a game right now. But I think you can get around 20, 22 um, for the next two to three years out of him. The only thing is, man, another thing with the, with the max deal, if I'm signing somebody to a max, bro, I think max comes with you being at a superstar level. Um, like I've said, it's been times, even in the, the Maverick series, it was times where like he was just lazadaisical, like he didn't care. Um, and that's been like that for the, the last two or three years. It's just like sometimes it's like he doesn't have that fire that you would think your superstar would have, where it's that, you know what I'm saying, I'm not going home, I'm going to carry us on my back. You don't have that, I feel like, in Paul George. And if you don't have that, why are you signing that kind of guy to a max deal? That is not a max deal caliber player in my opinion you know what i'm saying like i said no shade to paul george i love paul george but i just don't see it bro i mean i get the i get philadelphia you know what i'm saying you're desperate you try and get anything to compete with boston um and the thing is it may work it may work just for the simple fact that Embiid is so dominant Embiid, oh my God, people sleep on how dominant, especially offensively, Embiid is, man. It's nobody in the league that can really stop him. But the thing with him also is injuries. You know, if he can stay, if he can make it all the way through the season and not be playing on one leg, I mean, even Embiid on one leg is pretty hard to stop. But if he can make it all the way through the season not playing on one leg, bro, it could work. You know what I'm saying? That, that alleviates some of the pressure that Maxi is a fireball, uh, one of my favorite young players in the game. Um then you add Paul George in there, and I feel like Paul George is best when he's the second or a lot of times the third score or vocal point in the offense. So, like I said, it may work, but you still got to get your roster in place. And, you know what I'm saying, you don't really have any money to do that. So, 
it's going to be interesting what Philadelphia does in this offseason. So, I'm not, like I said, I'm not mad at it. What I had did it, mm, probably not. But, hey, only time will tell. But I want to know what you guys think in the comment section. Do you think this was a great move by the Philadelphia 76ers? If it wasn't, where do you think Paul George should have went? Again, don't forget to like up the video, subscribe if you're new, and y'all already know who it is.